So tell me, how did this all begin? night after working doubles two nights in a row. Fatigue had set in, and I started feeling a bit drowsy, so I left the party and headed home. Now I had a few beers, but not enough for me to imagine the first thing I saw. Which was? I don't know if you've ever been down Fuse Road, but it was dark as fuck, and it only has two lanes. I was doing about 40 when I saw what looked like a broken down ambulance parked on the side of the road. This thing looked like it should have been grown over by its condition, but it wasn't. The park lights and exhaust fumes indicated that the thing was running. I wish I would have just turned around. Then... It's cool, man. Take your time. You know those stupid ass signs on the road and annoying phone company commercials? Well, they're right. The next thing that happened is right out of the book, I'm a fucking idiot. You know the bestseller, right? Yeah, I think we've all read that one. So I got a text, and yeah, I guess it could have waited. But it was from this chick Natalie I met at the party. Honestly, I didn't think she would hit me up so quick. I'd just given her my phone number after all. It's kind of hard to believe that an emoji would honestly be the last thing I clearly remember. Well, which one was it? (laughs) You know the winky one that's blowing a kiss? It was that one. She sent something else afterward. I'll never know what it was. My phone broke before I could sink to any kind of cloud. Then I saw her. Or what I thought was a her. Well, what was it? I know it's hard, but can you describe her to me? I'm still trying to determine if it was even real. It was something straight out of a horror movie, man. She was gasping at me. She had an outreached hand. As she stood in the road, she was beckoning to me. She looked dead. And she had a glow adorning her flesh in a soft white. Describe her age to me. Was she old, young... A child, perhaps? She wasn't a child. She had long, straight brown hair. She was in a torn medical gown that exposed way more of her than it should. She had cuts all over her body. She was bloodstained. But her eyes... Those eyes... Black as death. Was there anything else about her? Was she alone? Uh, I'm sorry. Please, continue. Well, she wasn't alone. 
That's for sure. pulled up. The one I told you about earlier. There was something about it that told me this wasn't a normal first responder. The appearance of the ambulance now in more detail gave this away as well. The lack of sirens and lights that you would normally see, you know. Then the door opened. Then he stepped out. Okay, go on. At first, in my delirium, I thought he was going to help me. My, my, look what we have here. What a catch. Here. Let me give you a hand. You're, you're not a medic? Who are you? Why is there blood on your hands? Get the fuck away from me! Hey! Where are you going? I know it might be tough, but can you describe him to me? He had an EMT uniform, but it was tattered. It looked worn, almost as if it had been stored away for decades. That's not what threw me off, though. It was the blood. It was all over him. But it wasn't fresh. It was dry, as if it had been on him for days. Can you describe his face to me? Sinister. It was hard to see. He was standing with the headlights to his back. I couldn't see his grin, but I could hear it in his voice. What happened next? Hey! Come on! You really gonna make me work for it? That's what it's harder to work on! Get him. thing I know I wake up in a hospital what kind of hospital it was a hospital is there another kind so you don't remember anything from between that thing on your back and waking up in the hospital there has to be something no that's it what more do you want from me listen I'm not trying to fight with you this thing was ripping you apart And now you're sitting here talking to me when you should really be dead. Anyone else would have surely died from the pain alone. Well, you see, that's the thing. The hospital didn't do anything for me. Whoever did this to me knew what they were doing. These guys aren't rookies by any means. They grafted skin onto my back like some kind of fucked up paint match. And the scar, this damn scar. 
What did the hospital say about it? They ran their test, took their blood samples, x-rays. They found that some things had been rearranged, maybe even replaced. But strangely, nothing had been sutured. Everything still works the way it's supposed to. Ever since then, though, I don't feel right. I don't feel sick or anything. I just don't feel like me. Almost like the volume on everything around me got turned down. I don't feel hunger, but I know that the human body can't function without sustenance. So I eat, even though half the time I can't even hold it down. My sense of touch is off also. Like shit. Like shit like that, man. (sighs) Listen, I want to thank you for meeting with me. I know this could not have been easy for you. When Vincent told me, at first I couldn't believe that there was another person that had been affected by this. But after a while, I needed to hear your story as well. I knew I needed to try and get to the bottom of this. What do you mean? This happened to you too? Yes. That's how I got this. Holy shit. You're not alone, like I told you earlier on the phone. I met with Mrs. Riggins last month. She has the same scar, but much older. How much older? Why didn't you tell me any of this on the phone? I would have met with you earlier. How many more out there? How many more are like us? Just three that I know of. In two weeks, I'm meeting with someone else our friend Vincent also told me about. Well, up until the moment you showed up, to be honest, I thought he was full of shit. Well, it's hard to take someone serious that hasn't been through what we had done to us. But I believe Vincent's intentions are on par with ours. Which are? To try and understand who's doing this and why. I don't think you're going to find a motive, man. But if I can help you find out who did this, I will. I appreciate that. But before we finish here, are you sure there isn't anything else you can recall between your attack and where you woke up? Well, there is this one thing. I'm not sure if it's a memory or a dream. Since my attack, I've had this reoccurring vision of the ambulance man cleaning my body alongside the girl from the road and in the vision he speaks of another make sure you get all the gravel out of his wounds no 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 like this that's it yeah you're getting a lot better at this I'm sure he'll be very proud of the progress you're making you know uh cleaning these things is not easy but I don't think we'll be losing this one He's pretty banged up. Don't worry. It's nothing Johnny can't fix. Oh. I... I don't know if I'm pulling something from my subconscious. Or if I'm imagining a twisted dream from the side effects of the operation. I'm not exactly sure what that could mean. I appreciate your time here, but I gotta go. Um... If there's anything else you can think of, you have my number. I I hope this helps. I understand the fear. Just keep up with your work. And I would appreciate you letting me know if anything else you uncover. This is intense. This is more than a coincidence. Three people know the same name? Johnny. Who is this Johnny?
elements of Sirenicide are copyright 2016 Atrium Dynamics. Please visit sirenicide.com for more details.